Hello everyone and welcome to the uh, 25th, I suppose, C++ tutorial in my series of C++ tutorials. Well, um, this tutorial is going to be about something called conditional operators. And uh, it's like, um, kind of like 50% um, hard, 50% easy to understand, so it's like a um, kind of medium. So you just create a new source file. Type in some QR information. And um, now you create a boolean called X, set it equal to true. Now say x question mark c out correct colon c out incorrect. Okay, so um, actually this is not like very hard to understand. I'm just going to tell you the um, the structure of uh, those statements. What you type before the uh, question mark, which is the conditional operator, uh, what you type before the question mark is the condition. So we say that actually we are asking, um, well I'll get back to that. What you type uh, before the uh, question mark is the condition. What you type after the question mark and before the colon is uh, what will say if this condition is true. And what you type uh, after the uh, question mark and after the colon is what will is what will do if um, the condition is false. So actually, what we're doing here is that we say uh, is that we ask C is x equal to true? If it is, print out correct and go to the next line. If it's not, print out incorrect. So um, try and hit F9. We're going to save this as um, conditional operators. And as you see, it will say correct. So um, if you try and put this in front of x will ask C++ if x is false if it is do this if it is not false then print out incorrect so now try and hit F9 and as you see it says incorrect now and that is correct it's correct that is incorrect and that's kinda odd but um, that's the way it is also you can use uh, variables you know, oh well, this is a variable too, but you can use integer variables too. So you type in, in y, set it equal to 10. Now you type in y equals equals 10. Now just hit F9 to compile and run it. Now it says correct. So we're asking C if y is exactly equal to 10. And if it is, then print out correct. If it's not, Print out incorrect. So um, again, uh, I'm just going to um, tell you the order of this um, or the structure of uh, those conditional operator statements things right here. What you type again before the question mark here is the condition. What you type right here is um, what uh, it should do if uh, the statement or the condition is true. What you type in here is what you'll have or uh, will do if the statement or the condition is false. So again, to make it print out incorrect right now, you just say check for if y is equal to nine. Now hit is nine, and as you see, it's incorrect now. So um, actually, that was your tutorial on conditional state on uh, conditional statements. 
Oh, alright, so um, I guess I'll just see you in my next tutorial where I'll be teaching you about something called the size of method, which is not like very hard to understand either. So, um, yeah, I'll see you in my next tutorial.